104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. It's time again for the Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week. Every week we honor a local athlete, and you can submit your picks just by heading on line to 104.5 The Team.com. And joining us now, Connor Napick. He's a current Amsterdam Mohawk. He plays at UMass. We're going all the way back to your time at Albany Academy. Because now this is the second time already we've had an Albany Academy baseball player honored with the award. Take us back to your time at Albany Academy. What are some of your favorite memories playing there? Uh, well, over my four years at Academy, I had some great teammates. We had some great teams. Uh, my junior year, we won the Section 2 Class B Championship, and then we fell just the game after in the regionals and then last year my brother my twin brother Brooks and I who um really just us two and uh, one other two other guys that were returning kind of led the team we had a bunch of young freshmen and sophomore and took us to the section semi semifinal and we fell short there but my time at academy was great and I experienced things that I don't think that you can experience at many public schools. So, I don't know what your relationship is with a former Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week and Brett Young, but did you see mm. the home run he had in the state playoffs? Jose oh, Batista I, bat flip I, style? What's up with that? That's one of my very, very, very good friends. Uh, we got really close last year. Um, our first year, I mean our first day together of last year, he, uh, you know, was a sophomore. He's a little chippy kid. He was, <laughs> I mean... I love Brett. Absolutely love the kid. He was uh, so he's a little chippy. He's a little cocky sometimes. He can be. So first practice last year, he's a sophomore. I'm a senior. We're scrimmaging, and he gets up to the plate, and sure enough, I uh, strike him out three times or so, whatever. And he was all upset about it. And after that, I sat him down, and we were just like, first scrimmage, you know, you're a sophomore. You're a really good baseball player. You got to grow. Got to be a little more mature. And ever since then, I, I where he became and where he is now he's become so much more mature and I mean the way he carries himself and the way he led out the team this year was just tremendous how they got to the state final and just fell you know just uh, out short and no doubt an outstanding baseball player for all me academy so just to confirm that bat flip in the state semis you did not teach him to do that I did not okay. no I told him I said you were I called him and I was like you're lucky you still got another year in high school because <laughs> that was I said, that's college baseball, and you have one more at bat in the game. You're getting a fastball square in your head. Doesn't matter. <laughs> in your shoulders, wherever, you know. Getting drilled, though. I mean, he hit that baseball. He crushed that baseball. Dude. And the bat flip, absurd, though. The video is crazy. <laughs> the video is so crazy. Sometimes the emotions get the best of them, and I'm not going to blame Absolutely. Brett too much there, too much. Carter oh, Abbott. no. No, no doubt, I, man. I I honestly might have maybe done the same exact thing there. <laughs> the baseball like that. It's our cat side pest control athlete of the week. Connor Napick joins us here on the phone lines on 104.5 The Team, Albany Academy Zone. And now UMass, take us through the recruiting process and how did you end up deciding that you wanted to play at UMass? Well, um, the recruiting process went on that we, Brooks and I wanted to go together. And so when... UMass coach saw us at a showcase. He said, uh, Brooks, I really like your left-handed arm, and Carter, I really like your right-handed arm. So we decided that it really wasn't going to be um, so much more of playing first and third base like we did in high school, but rather just pitching on the mound. So he told us that. We went and saw the campus and fell in love with it. We went to a hockey game with the, with the baseball guys. We met most of the guys and stayed a night there and overnight, and I believe we committed a day or two days later. We loved it that much. It's amazing to think that you've been able to play baseball with your twin brother. You've gone to the college ranks with your twin brother. Do you guys also room together at UMass? Does it go that far? Absolutely, it does. <laughs> so when you're growing up with somebody and now you're rooming with them, the dynamics have changed at all from maybe when you were living at home to now in college? Are you guys still getting along? I, yeah, we would get along really well. We share a lot of clothes and you know, we clean up the sides of the room together. We do a lot of work together, do some schoolwork together. Uh, rooming together is just a lot more beneficial than, you know, like, say, rooming down the hall or across the hall or something. It's amazing, man. Cool story right here. Carter Napick joining us here on the phone lines on 104.5. The team, it's your Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week. And the reason you're being honored is because of how well you've been playing this summer right here locally for the Amsterdam Mohawks of the Perfect Game Collegiate Baseball League. 
For those who may not know what the Perfect Game Collegiate Baseball League is, what is it? Take us through that league. Uh, the Perfect Game Collegiate Baseball League is a college baseball league where host uh, kids from the SEC, the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, uh, a bunch of NAIA schools, a lot of junior college schools, and even some of the smaller schools, as in where you can, on our team you can consider UMass one of the smaller schools, as in uh, uh, baseball-wise, honestly. But these kids, they um, come here, and wherever team their coaches send them to that they want to place them for the summer, they live with a host family, and they're fortunate enough usually to get, I mean, most of our guys that are on Amsterdam, we live in Johnstown or Amsterdam, so they're fortunate to be pretty close to the field and where we play. And we play almost five, six nights a week, and busy as ever. We get home all the time, like midnight, one in the morning, driving. And it's just a grind, but it's a ton of fun. It's some of the most funny baseball you can play. It's relaxed, and, you know, you, the guys you meet that so you never thought you'd have a chance to ever, you know, sit down and have a conversation with. You've been really successful at all-star selection for your team. Your team's doing well. Any pieces of advice for maybe some young capital region athletes who may want to play in the PGCBL in the future? What's your best advice to them to have a successful summer? Um, I would say that there's always something you can improve on, always something you can strive for. I mean, last year, last summer for Brooks and I, we uh, got asked by Coach Keith Griffin to come play for the Mohawks in a temporary contract, and we did that. We played the first you know, 10 games or so, and he said, most of our guys aren't here yet. You guys want to extend your contract? So we played for a little longer. And then after a time when everyone came in, he was like, you know what, everyone's here, and I'm going to have to ask you guys, thank you guys for filling in, and I want you guys to come play for us next year. So that's what I strived for the whole year, got better throughout the school year, and came to the summer and got the opportunity to play for the same team, same coaches, and um, really just took that all, the, all that hard work that I put in and just really paying off this so far this summer. Carter Napick, join us here on the phone lines, the Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week. And do not forget, every week we're giving out an honor for another local athlete. Just head on to 1045theteam.com. Submit your entry. Maybe this time next week you'll hear your favorite local athlete joining us here on LeVac and Goss. Kind of want to get you out of here on this. Tell us through the rest of the summer what's going on. Season's wrapping up. You're off season when you report back to UMass. Um, season ends. It's the last game of playoffs the championship would be august 8th and that's or august 7th and i believe all the guys would go home back to their families or some of them go back to school right away but uh for me it's going to be i mean i got i'm fortunate to live at home all summer which is just a blessing being away you know at school university of massachusetts but um i report back to school september 2nd and we don't start baseball i believe until like the 6th or the 7th but just going to work out, try and stay in the best shape as I can and uh, keep my arm where it is and hopefully go to school and hopefully have the same results for next season. Well, man, we're going to be rooting for you right here at 104.5, the team, and I know fans in the Capital Region will be as well. Connor Knappick, Connor, best of luck in your summer. We'll talk again soon. Take care, man. Thank you.